Obsidian is a naturally occurring volcanic glass formed when lava extruded from a volcano cools rapidly with minimal crystal growth. It is an igneous rock. Obsidian is produced from felsic lava, rich in the lighter elements such as silicon, oxygen, aluminium, sodium, and potassium. It is commonly found within the margins of rhyolitic lava flows known as obsidian flows. These flows have a high content of silica, granting them a high viscosity. The high viscosity inhibits diffusion of atoms through the lava, which inhibits the first step, nucleation, in the formation of mineral crystals. Together with rapid cooling, this results in a natural glass forming from the lava. Obsidian is hard, brittle, and amorphous, it therefore fractures with sharp edges. In the past, it was used to manufacture cutting and piercing tools. And it has been used experimentally as surgical scalpel blades. The first known archaeological evidence of usage was in Kariandu Sea, Kenya, and other sites of the Acheulean Age, beginning 1.5 million years BP, dated 700,000 BC. Although only very few objects have been found at these sites relative to the Neolithic. Manufacture of obsidian bladelets at Lipari had reached a high level of sophistication by the late Neolithic, and was traded as far as Sicily, the southern Po River Valley, and Croatia. Obsidian bladelets were used in ritual circumcisions and cutting of umbilical cords of newborns. Anatolian sources of obsidian are known to have been the material used in the Levant and modern-day Iraqi Kurdistan from a time beginning sometime about 12,500 BC. Obsidian artifacts are common at Tel Brak, one of the earliest Mesopotamian urban centers, dating to the late 5th millennium BC. Obsidian was valued in Stone Age cultures because, like flint, it could be fractured to produce sharp blades or arrowheads in a process called napping. Obsidian artifacts first appeared in the European continent and Central Europe in the Middle Paleolithic and had become common by the Upper Paleolithic. Obsidian played an important role in the transmission of Neolithic knowledge and experiences. The material was mainly used for production of chipped tools which were very sharp due to its nature. Artifacts made of obsidian can be found in many Neolithic cultures across Europe. Through trade, these artifacts ended up in lands thousands of kilometers away from the original source. This indicates that they were a highly valued commodity. John D. had a mirror, made of obsidian, which was brought from Mexico to Europe between 1527 and 1530 after Hernando Cortez's conquest of the region. In the Ubaid in the 5th millennium BC, blades were manufactured from obsidian extracted from outcrops located in modern-day Turkey. Ancient Egyptians used obsidian imported from the eastern Mediterranean and southern Red Sea regions. In the eastern Mediterranean area the material was used to make tools, mirrors and decorative objects. Obsidian has also been found in Galat, a site in the western Negev in Israel. Eight obsidian artifacts dating to the Chalcolithic Age found at this site were traced to obsidian sources in Anatolia. Neutron activation analysis, NA, on the obsidian found at this site helped to reveal trade routes and exchange networks previously unknown. Pre-Columbian Mesoamericans' use of obsidian was extensive and sophisticated, including carved and worked obsidian for tools and decorative objects. Mesoamericans also made a type of sword with obsidian blades mounted in a wooden body. Called a maqua wheel, the weapon could inflict terrible injuries, combining the sharp cutting edge of an obsidian blade with the ragged cut of a serrated weapon. The polearm version of this weapon was called tepispili. Obsidian mirrors were used by some Aztec priests to conjure visions and make prophecies. They were connected with Tezcatlipoca, god of obsidian and sorcery, whose name can be translated from the Nahuatl language as, smoking mirror. Native American people traded obsidian throughout the Americas. Obsidian cores and blades were traded great distances inland from the coast. In Chile obsidian tools from Chaitan volcano have been found as far away as in Chan Chan 400 kilometers north of the volcano. Obsidian can be used to make extremely sharp knives. Obsidian is used by some surgeons for scalpel blades. Although this is not approved by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration FDA, for use on humans. Well-crafted obsidian blades, like any glass knife, can have a cutting edge many times sharper than high-quality steel surgical scalpels. The cutting edge of the blade is only about 3 nanometers thick. All metal knives have a jagged, irregular blade when viewed under a strong enough microscope. However, obsidian blades are still smooth, even when examined under an electron microscope. Don Crabtree has produced surgical obsidian blades and written articles on the subject. Obsidian scalpels may currently be purchased for surgical use on research animals. The major disadvantage of obsidian blades is their brittleness compared to those made of metal. Thus limiting the surgical applications for obsidian blades to a variety of specialized uses where this is not a concern. Obsidian is also used for ornamental purposes and as a gemstone. It presents a different appearance depending on how it is cut. 
In one direction it is jet black, while in another it is glistening gray. Apache tears are small rounded obsidian nuggets often embedded within a grayish-white perlite matrix. Plinths for audio turntables have been made of obsidian since the 1970s, such as the grayish-black SH10B3 plinth by Technics. Pure obsidian is usually dark in appearance, though the color varies depending on the impurities present. Iron and other transition elements may give the obsidian a dark brown to black color. Most black obsidians contain nano-inclusions of magnetite and iron oxide. Very few samples of obsidian are nearly colorless. In some stones, the inclusion of small, white, radially clustered crystals of the mineral cristobalite in the black glass produce a blotchy or snowflake pattern. Obsidian is found near volcanoes and locations which have undergone rhyolitic eruptions.